Cool. Knock yourself. Sorry. Okay, so we're back to show you. I'm going to pull this. This is my motor here at the back of the truck. It's a Titan 12 turn motor and again just for those of you who didn't watch the first segment this is my Traxxas Stampede. It's uh, the XL5 model with the Titan 12 turn uh, 550 motor. Okay so we're going to take the motor out. It's brand new motor. I just broke it in. I did a dry break in which leaves a lot of carbon deposit inside the motor itself and that needs to be cleaned out so we're going to do that using this uh, nifty nitro electronic. You know it's just called nitro. I would have called it nifty nitro. Oh, down there. There you go. Nifty Nitro. We renamed our product and we're going to resell it with the trigger name on it. Um, we're going to spray it out with that. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how to take the motor up. Okay, so uh, we've got the, end, the motor out here, and I just left the pinion on because it's really not that big a deal. It's just a, the, what comes out of the motor is literally just a pin, and the pinion ties onto that with a, with a little mini screw there. So uh, now what we're going to do, I'm not going to bother disconnecting all the electrics. We're just going to throw some paper towel under here, okay? And uh, you can see all these openings. There's four openings all around the top on the sides there, and there's going to be openings all in both ends of the motor so you can actually see inside and you can see the brushes in there um, I should mention this is a brushed motor um, here's our nifty nitro <laughs> our nifty nitro from Trigger RC put that in there alright so there we go simple spray can treatment will do and yeah we're just gonna Spray, get some, get right in there, okay? I'm gonna get some on my hands too, but just short, short bursts. Okay, I'm, oh, that stinks. Okay, so careful, don't get it in your mouth. I'm just kind of trying to make sure I get it all through. You can already see, if you can zoom in, you can see some of this carbon coming out um, from the spray wash. Spray in this way too. Okay, so that'll do it. My hands soaked, but can you see that coming out there? So that's all gunk, and it doesn't look so so bad. But really, when that's in there in your brushes, that's not good for anybody. So anyway, we'll just uh, let this drip dry here for a few minutes, and uh, this stuff dries pretty fast. You can see it on my hand. I've got some white, but this will not leave a residue or a film. On, uh, on any of the inside parts and it's literally going to evaporate because of the high alcohol content or whatever it is that's in here. Um, no smoking, okay? Tell your kids, tell your family. Okay, so we've let this dry for about five or six minutes. Now that should do it. Uh, the rest of the time it'll dry as we're reinstalling here. So what you want to do to put this back in, remember we had the two screws to loosen and the screws stay in. Uh, and you've got your two screw holes on either side of your pinion. You're going to try and line those up as best you can and slide it back in. Now, it's kind of finicky, but what you can do is just kind of feel for it. Keep the screw turning and you'll feel when it grabs. And there I just got lucky and I happened to grab it right off the bat. So, I'm going to tighten the top one first. Okay, and we'll find the second hole with this bottom one here there we go we're in business we're in business ok 
Okay, now what we're going to do is the top one is it's a set hole, okay, and the bottom one, if you can see on here, has got a slot more or less. So what we can do is adjust where that pinion is going to sit in relation to the clutch, okay, and you see how that works. So you've got quite a bit of give there um, to adjust it, but a tip that I actually just picked up off Dave, uh, a tech tip if you will, uh, how, to, how close do you want to have these teeth? Um, and we all know it's not a good idea to have the metal on metal constant friction. Uh, so you don't really want to push this as close as you possibly can in there. And what Dave suggested we do is that we use just a piece of paper because that's literally how much room we want in between is, is a billionth of an inch type of thing. Um, and we'll just we'll slide this in here. see what I'm doing there so now we've got paper in between the two gears and you can see a little crinkle there that's a good sign and now we'll push this pinion as far as it'll go with that paper in between okay and while I'm holding that in place I'm just gonna tighten the screws and I'll just re-tighten this top one Make sure we got a good connection there, and then we'll just back that out, and there you go. So that's how much room we have in between our pinion and our clutch, if you can see that. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but you get the picture. And that's about perfect. So there we go. Um, one thing I do want to mention when you're putting your cover back on, uh, different models are going to be slightly different, obviously. but. Uh, for me, on this Traxxas model, these two screws are actually different length. And the reason for that is just because of the gaps that exist between the cover and the main uh, chassis here. Uh, you're going to want your smaller one. You're going to want to make sure that when you took that off in the first place, you're putting the big one where the big one goes and the small one where the small one goes. Okay, so there we go, we've got the cover back on. Uh, one thing I can't stress enough that with these plastic parts, you don't want to over tighten these screws and don't panic because a little bit of looseness here is not gonna be the end of the world. You wanna make sure the screw is seated properly, that it's gone in straight and not crooked. Um, and yeah, a little bit of looseness here, it's barely loose, but just don't over tighten that because you're gonna end up cracking through the plastic and then you've got no cover and then no one's happy. Okay, so there we go. That's a clean. That's a clean motor, and we're we're ready to rock. I'm gonna put some tires back on here and see you outside. <laughs>